All right, everyone, welcome. Uh, here's a little tutorial video for Automobilista 2, AMS 2, when it comes to pit stops. Where we're first starting here, as you see on screen, is the gameplay options, the authenticity. If you look there on the screen, you'll see manual pit stops. If you want to try to do a manual pit stop, put that to yes. If you have it left on no, that means the game will take over once you cross the, the uh, pit entry line. Next, we move on to two very important buttons, the request pit stop there, as well as the pit limiter right below. Um, so there are two ways to requ re request a pit stop. Uh, you'll see both of them here shortly, but uh, if you want a dedicated pit stop button uh, request, select that. And if you want the, the limiter on, if you have uh, yes to manual pit stops, you will need that as well. Lastly, when it comes to the assignments or the button assignments here within the options, you'll want to make sure and set up the in-car management as well as the up, down, left, and right. Uh, here very shortly, in the next part of the video, you're going to see why. Uh, that enables you to get into the in-car management options. It also enables you to get into the pit strategy or the pit setup within the game. So as we move here to part number two, we have the game going, my apologies. So as you see there, there's the in-car management. You have the brake bias and fuel mappings. Um, other various options with the cars where if you go further in, you have stability control, traction control, anti-lock braking, and then the uh, anti-roll bars for the front and the rear. As you go back, you have race strategy. This is where you can mess with uh, pit strategies that are already set up. And then the third part of this video, we're going to show you how to do that. But then you can adjust the strategies as you see fit. Uh, you have tire compounds where you can move or go left and right and select different tires depending on how your race is going or what conditions it's in. Same with refueling. If you need more liters or less liters for what you want, that is the place to do it as well as damage. Uh, so as we see here in the video, um, I requested a pit stop within the ICM, in-car management. Um, you can also have that dedicated button, button you saw within the options to do that first. But, um, you know, if you want less things configured, I guess you could say, uh, you may just want to request a pit stop within the in-car management because if you're messing around with your pit strategy, uh, that's where it's going to happen anyway. So you might as well just be in one spot for, for requesting, for updating, and then for, uh, for getting in there. So as you're going to see here very shortly, I'm going to be coming up on the pit wind or not the pit window. I'm sorry. The pit lane entry. Once I get to the entry, um, I have my limiter, um, mapped. So that means I have to engage it. I do there probably a little bit earlier than I need to, but once you get in there into the pit straight, then you're going to see your pit box, which is going to be lit up in, in red. It's going to have a red stop sign. You're going to see all of your people out. Uh, I've switched cameras here that way you can kind of see, you know, the full car. But as I go in, you'll see the car kind of slide into spot. So it's going to hit this. It's going to hit the, the marks no matter what, uh, whether it's a manual or an automatic uh, pit stop. But as you can see, they're putting in the fuel that I've asked for. Once they get done with fuel, they will move on to the tires. If you had them doing any damage, uh, they will do damage as well. But as you can see in the pit box at the timer at the top, uh, when they're working on things, it turns yellow. When they're done with something, it turns green. And then you can kind of see the progress bar as they go. So, um, as, long as, as well as your, uh, as your pit time. So, once your uh, crew member there moves up out of the way, you are free to move. Your pit limiter will still be on. You can disengage once you get past the line, and off you go. So, that is quite a, kind of a quick and dirty from the in-car management to requesting a pit stop, uh, to adjusting the pit stop, and then uh, going through the process. I will say, if you want to do this in a in a single race to uh, to practice, please make sure within the settings of the race that you have enabled or uh, turned on. Uh, the refuel the refueling option if you don't have that on you will not have the option to refuel and uh, you'll go from there 
So here we are in part three. We're going to be looking at the pit strategies. If you go into the setup, there's a button for pit strategies. Here's where you can create as many strategies as you want. So I am creating a testing one and you hit the create button. Now you have all the various options to do what you want. You can add fuel if the option is enabled within the race. So for this strategy, I'm adding a bunch of fuel. I'm going to be uh, having them change the tires. Um, you can do recommended or you can do whatever you'd like. Um, you can have the tire compounds match front and rear or you can have those be different. Um, as well as the compounds, here's where you can mess with the pressures. If you know what they should be, if you have a certain pressure that's not the default that you like, you can set it. Lastly, you have all the damage. By default, all damage is on. And as you can see, as I'm turning things on and off, you can see the estimation in seconds go up and down. So if you have all your damage off, you have just tires and fuel, depending on what, how much fuel and all, that, all the other stuff, you're going to see what your estimation is of 28 seconds. So then you save, and now it's available to you within the in-car management. Um, so that is kind of a quick and dirty way of uh, pit stops within the game. Um, if you have any questions, please ask. Because we want to make sure that everyone gets this down and that everyone can uh, understand this.